boys oh my god i stayed up after i um edited my video and look what we found a gotcha 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 is that another one? Oh no it's a trike all right i'm super fucking tired but i really want to tame this thing up so pretty sure we just make a bunch of shit right i actually initially came down here for pace but uh we ended up finding this bad boy there we go one more pallet and should be tamed up there we go beautiful fuck that was so easy just finding them is the hard part let's pokeball you up and take you back to base and then i'll have to read up about how to use this thing uh, i did read a lot of comments though that i need to craft up a bunch of metal cables and put snow pallets snow owl pallets in them um, for the best items and then i don't know how they make poly either so i'm gonna have to do some research see what's up but oh my god so happy we fucking found one. Oh, hello there i did not see you there <laughs> fucking hell oh, okay now nah, i'm gonna scrap that skit jesus christ we're back boys this is the day after we tame the gacha and uh we just start what the fuck what just happened there i don't know but we just came back from a poly run now, after doing some research on the gutchers, I figured out that my gutcha is pretty useless because uh, the only useful production things that it can make is obsidian and silk, I believe. Yeah, silk for whips and then obsidian, obviously, for polymer. Um, but, I mean, it's a lot easier to just go and farm the corrupted dinos for polymer. Um, I would have liked an organic poly fucking gutcha, but, yeah wildcard isn't being kind to me i wasn't planning on making a video today but i just couldn't resist the sweet 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 youtube dollars <laughs> now the plan is for today is that we're going to be upgrading the base uh, i really want to just completely overhaul this because it's not really practical anymore since i've got the indie forge so i'm thinking of taking the top level off and just having like a two by one against the wall for the generator and then everything's going to be outdoor that's my plan I'm not, not too sure how it's going to turn out, but um, yeah, I've just been farming up today. Got a bit of metal in here. Um, what do we got in here? Got a bunch of pace and more metal. I did a thick pace run uh, today while I was looking for another gacha. Well, it's not really thick, but it's enough. And we've got a bunch of electronics and stuff in here. There we go. For the turrets, I've been farming up a bunch of lampposts and tables and shit. So making some good progress uh the first thing i want to do is i want to craft up a chem bench because we really need bullets um <clears throat> as you can see i've only got like 150 bullets in each of these which is very bad and uh we've only got four turrets so like i said plans is overhaul the base two by one at the back generator more turrets chem bench uh and just want to deck it out with more turrets and bullets so hopefully we can find another gutcher as well because this thing is fucking shit please correct me if i'm wrong if i can still get um, items from any gacha please let me know in the comments below i fed it like 20 times i believe and every single time i got a fucking primitive crystal and i was using cables so have cables being nerfed or do i need to use wall maps now I i'm not too sure so please let me know in the comments uh you guys are fucking helping me out so much with uh game knowledge because i've been away for so long and i don't know anything about this so yeah i really appreciate that anyway we're gonna get back to working back to farming whatever you want to call it and I'll see you guys once we start crafting up some shit. See you guys then. Okay, so first things first, we want to get rid of all this as soon as possible uh, before it starts boiling. So we're going to grab a bunch of electronics. First thing we're going to craft is the chem bench. I think we have everything we need now. Let me just check. Chem bench. Yes, we do. Awesome. Let's turn that on. Beautiful chem bench complete now next up turrets all right we can craft nine turrets let's craft those up now obviously i'm gonna have to go farm some more polymer uh, later on to upgrade these to heavies but for now i just want to get the base materials that i need and then i can see how much materials of the other stuff that i need if that makes sense i hope it does and fuck i really want to get over this cold it's pissing me the fuck off i can't i don't know why but i can't hear out of one of my fucking ears it's so weird uh yeah it's turned really weird really fast anyway 10 turrets there we go beautiful um do we use all the polymer yes we did awesome okay 
now that we got all this set um, actually I need to craft up another generator just like that probably some more cables as well and also a few outlets. All right, that's pretty much all we need from the fabricator for now. Now that all of that is done, um, I'm gonna start taking down the base. Oh, I forgot we had this turn on. Fucking piece of shit. So yeah, we're just basically just gonna be demoing the front half of this base. Before we get any further, even though my base is like undefended right now and half demolished, uh, we're gonna go start naming some dinosaurs and the top commented name for the Managamur is are you fucking serious cum cannon are you f oh my fucking god how fucking immature jesus christ cum cannon there we go there are you happy okay we're at ground level now let's chuck down the generator here yeah i'm not too sure how i want to place this oh my god what the fuck i can place it in the mesh Okay. Hello? What the fuck? <laughs> that is retarded. Actually, this is good, because I can just... I can have this in a one-by-one one then. Since I can have it poking through the wall. I wonder if I'll get dev wipe for this. Because this is building in the mesh, right? So what I want to do is I want to place this so that... The, uh... The cable is centered, so that I can run a pillar from it. Yeah, fuck it, that should be good. Alright, can we still access it? We can. Beautiful. I like that. Okay. Let's just chuck another foundation here. Just like that. Now, a lot of you guys were asking why I use wood before, and that's just simply because I didn't have much resources, so I just put wood. It doesn't really matter because they still need to blow up the, the metal foundation that's the that's at the base to do anything. So even if you blow even if you like destroy the wooden floor there, nothing's gonna happen. Okay, there we go. That is looking good right there. Now, hopefully that is centered enough because I didn't realize... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Hopefully the uh, outlet will... We can run the outlet the other way. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we will be able to do, though. Yeah, we can. Awesome. That doesn't stick out at all. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. All right, boys, we are back, and this is the progress so far. We've got the turret tower going there. Uh, we've got the ramps here, everything's sunken down one foundation, so it's looking uh, nice and neat. And then, as you can see here, the generator is here, and I can still access it, fortunately. But, it's coming along nicely. I didn't know what I was doing here with the smithy. I wanted to fit one more there, but that wasn't possible. So what I might do is actually run the uh, catwalk from the middle of the ceiling, and I should be able to get two then. Uh, the only reason I put it here because I thought it, I could put one sideways and that way it looked pretty nice, but yeah, that didn't work. Uh, but we got the ramps here just to make it less uncomfortable getting up, you know. You don't want to step too many times. And then over here, uh, like I said about the uh, line of sight issue, I put this here. So that shouldn't be a problem now. Now behind here, I'm going to like put spike walls and shit like that. And I can actually um, build over here on that slope, by the way. If you guys are wondering, I can put pillars here. I can't put foundations though, except for at the very, very top. Um, so that's pretty cool. Probably just going to deck this out with uh, spike walls. And like I said in the other episode, I think I said it, I really want to see if we can put a cliff platform on the side of this, um, this wall here, like over there for like a chandelier. Just right there would be fucking beautiful. Have a little look. Everything's very easy to access. So you got the forge, smithy, chem bench, and fabricator all like in the same vicinity. So I don't need to really move anywhere, which is really nice. Um, the only problem I'm going to have is with storage, like for a vault. So I might even put a vault here if I can fit one there. Because uh, that one over there is kind of out of the way. Um, but it is good for like loading up the fabricator or whatever, or the chem bench like that and we're probably going to end up moving that anyway because it kind of looks ugly there so we might end up trying to put a vault here and then maybe a fridge here i'm not too sure it's getting a bit crazy with the amount of shit we're fitting there but yeah i'm liking the look of it so far now the next thing we need to do is chuck up some hatch frames and then we got to go off and farm poly for the rest of the heavy turrets uh we have 10 turrets so so what's that 500 poly yeah that shouldn't be too hard so, let's get on up here, chuck down these hatch frames. 
I think just like this. How's that looking? What the fuck? I can't get on top of the forge for some reason. Okay, that's pretty good. That's covering there. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll chuck another hatch frame here. Can we stick it through the mesh? No. Just like that. Perfect. Alright, there we go. Now we got coverage of the whole base once we put up the turrets. Yeah, this is gonna look fucking great, boys. I'm pumped. Alright, so I'm gonna go head off and farm up some more poly. Actually, I might have dinner first. It's 9.30 and I still haven't had dinner. We'll do that. We'll farm up some poly. Probably enough for the heavies and also maybe another couple of volts, maybe. Maybe, maybe. And then uh, we'll whack up the heavies, start farming heavy on the uh, gunpowder so that we can make more bullets. Oh, we've got some gunpowder here. We can start making more bullets. And yeah, just getting this base well defended. Because it has been... <laughs> I've been so slack on the defenses since I started this series, so yeah, got to get it done. Alright, we back boys. I just had dinner and I just finished uh, farming up the poly. I think we have enough. I'm just heading back now because these are getting close to expiring. Actually, I might reset those real quick. Alright, there we go. That should be good enough for now. So we're going to head back to base and start crafting up these heavies. Ooh, baby. Is that our last one? Yes, it is. Beautiful boys. Hell fucking yeah. 10 more heavies. Alright. So I want to use the rest of this poly. How much do we actually have? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We've got 52. Is that enough for a vault? I forgot how much we need for a vault. Uh, no, we need 90. Fuck, we don't have obsidian either. Okay, I'm going to quickly duck off and uh, get a bit more poly. And then I'll come back. Actually, we don't have the oil either. Fuck. Alright, hopefully I can find some forces as well. Professional fucking ARC YouTuber right here. Naharel! Hi. How you doing? Vault. Beautiful! There we go. Oh, we still have 40 more poly. Ah, fridges. We need to make fridges. Fridges, fridges. There we go. Two fridges. Excellent. I think that's all we'll need for now. Oof. I've never been so happy to be farming. A farming day, I love it. Oof, there we go. Fucking solo player for the win, boys. Sexy, I love it. There's nothing better than ending a day of hard work with a bunch of heavies to show for it. That's fucking nice. Back to grinding, I gotta go farm up a shit ton of bullets. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so we just started crafting out the bullets. We got some wood in here. Um, using a prim axe and the RG just isn't cutting it, so I might have to go and tame up a beaver. And, uh, as you can see, this is what I've done to the base. I've moved the vault, so it's there now. It looks pretty fucking sexy. Got the two fridges. Got some air cons up there, because it gets really hot here. Uh, it's still hot, even with those, because of the forge, I guess. Um, but we got the smithy up there. You guys saw that. And, uh, yeah, we put down all the turrets, so it's looking pretty nice, I must admit. Uh, but yeah, getting the wood with a prim axe is not working out at all, so yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to check how long it's going to take to be, uh, to tame up a beaver, because it's getting late already. Or I might just have to grind it out with a prim axe for now, and then tomorrow we'll tame up a beaver. Not too sure. Alright, so it's coming to the end of the night. Um, I'm fucking tired. It's almost 2am, and I've just been... <clears throat> and I've just been uh, feeding the gacha some shit. Just experimenting, and I still haven't gotten any good fucking crystals. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I've pumped it into crafting skill. What did we get? Hello? Oh, I didn't need it. Okay. I must have disturbed it by leveling it up. But yeah, I've still just been getting primitive crystals. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, or if I am doing anything wrong. Another primitive crystal, what the fuck? Anyway, um, I've just finished crafting all the bullets I farmed up, and where are they? Oh, that's right, I put them all in this turret here. So we got 2600 to split across all the turrets. I know it's not much, but it's gonna have to do for now. So how many turrets do we have up? We got 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, quick maths. Anyway, I'm going to split them up all evenly into all the turrets, and uh, we'll see what we got. Wait, is that a... 
Oh, we finally got one. Boys. Journeyman. What is it? What is it? What the fuck?